Have you ever wondered if the trials you face in life serve a deeper spiritual purpose? Understanding the roles of the Demiurge and Archons in The Apocalypse of Paul can offer a new perspective on life's challenges, helping you find deeper meaning in adversity and move towards spiritual enlightenment. In Paul's visionary ascent, we're shown a cosmic drama where the Archons and the Demiurge play crucial roles, not as villains, but as divine agents of growth. Today, we uncover how this mystical journey reveals the deeper truths of our spiritual path. What is the real significance of Paul's journey through the heavens and the apocalypse of Paul, and how does it relate to our own spiritual awakening? In this video, we explore how Paul's encounter with the Demiurge and the Archons parallels our struggle to overcome life's obstacles and ascend toward Gnosis, the ultimate knowledge of the divine. Holy Spirit, Guide our understanding as we explore the mysteries of the heavens. Open our hearts to wisdom, help us see the truth beyond the veil, and grant us insight into the divine plan at work in our lives. Amen. The Apocalypse of Paul The Apocalypse of Paul is a visionary text in which the Apostle Paul ascends through the various levels of the heavens, encountering different spiritual beings and gaining profound insights into the nature of the cosmos. This paraphrase aligns with intuitive Gnosticism, presenting the roles of the Demiurge, Yahweh, and the Archons as essential components of the divine plan rather than as evil entities. The text begins with Paul receiving a divine revelation that lifts him up through the layers of the heavens. As he ascends, he encounters various spiritual beings, each associated with a different level of the cosmos. These beings include the Archons, who govern the material world and the realms beyond it. As Paul rises through the heavens, he is granted visions of the Pleroma, the realm of divine fullness where the Aeons reside. The Pleroma is the source of all light, love, and wisdom, and it is from this divine realm that the true God emanates the various aspects of the divine, such as truth, wisdom, and love. Paul has shown that the material world was created by the Demiurge, Yahweh, who believed himself to be the supreme creator. However, Yahweh's creation is not a deviation from the divine plan, but an essential part of it. The material world serves as a place for souls to experience growth, learn important lessons, and ultimately return to the Pleroma. Yahweh's actions are motivated by a sense of justice and order, which are necessary for maintaining the structure of the physical realm. His governance provides the conditions under which souls can evolve and develop their understanding of the divine. As Paul ascends, he encounters the Archons, who govern the different levels of the heavens and the material world. The Archons are not to be feared as evil beings, but are understood as necessary agents of the divine order. Their role is to maintain the balance of the cosmos and to present challenges that push souls towards spiritual awakening. The Archons create obstacles that encourage souls to seek Gnosis, the direct knowledge of their divine origin. By overcoming the trials set by the Archons, souls can transcend the material world and progress toward enlightenment. At the highest level of his ascent, Paul is granted a vision of the true God, who is beyond all comprehension, a being of infinite light and love. The true God is the source of all existence, and from this divine source emanate the Aeons, who maintain the harmony of the Pleroma. Paul realizes that the ultimate goal of the soul is to return to the Pleroma, where it will experience unity with the true God. This return is not only possible through death, but through the spiritual awakening that occurs when one recognizes the divine spark within. Paul learns that the path to spiritual liberation involves awakening to the truth of the soul's divine nature. By seeking Gnosis and understanding the roles of the Demiurge and the Archons, individuals can overcome the limitations of the material world and return to the Pleroma. The journey toward enlightenment requires self-knowledge, spiritual practice, and the cultivation of inner wisdom. As souls awaken to their true nature, they begin the process of returning to the divine source, where they will experience eternal peace and unity. The text concludes with Paul's realization that all souls have the potential to return to the Pleroma. The material world, with its challenges and limitations, is not a prison but a place of learning and growth. By embracing Gnosis and recognizing the divine spark within, souls can achieve spiritual liberation and reunite with the true God. Today, 
We've learned that the challenges we face, whether material, emotional, or spiritual, are part of a grand cosmic plan for our growth. The Apocalypse of Paul teaches us that through Gnosis, we can rise above these trials and reconnect with the divine. The journey is tough, but it's a path toward true enlightenment. If this video has resonated with you, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts on the Demiurge and Archons. Are they obstacles or essential guides? Let's continue the discussion in the comments below. Holy Spirit, thank you for leading us through today's exploration of spiritual truths. May we continue to seek knowledge, embrace our divine spark, and overcome the trials of the material world with grace and understanding. Amen. Hey everybody! We've got something really exciting coming your way. From September 18th to October 15th, we're diving deep into the heart of intuitive Gnosticism with a special, can't-miss series. Every day, We'll be reading a chapter from my new book, Intuitive Gnosticism, as part of our daily series Intuitive Gnosticism today. But that's not all. We're also launching a special daily edition of Let's Choose Jesus, where each sermon will be inspired by a chapter from the book. That's right, daily sermons for the launch instead of our usual weekly schedule. And it gets better. Our Nag Hammadi Library series continues with paraphrased teachings from the ancient Gnostic scriptures, plus we'll be dropping video readings of our brand new modern translation of the Nag Hammadi texts. But wait, there's more. As we gear up for the official launch, we'll be releasing some amazing extras, a gospel album, a rock opera based on intuitive Gnosticism, a workbook companion, and even a book version of the Nag Hammadi paraphrases. And trust me, that's just the beginning. There's tons of free content coming your way. This is going to be a season of powerful transformation, and we want you with us every step of the way. Don't miss this chance to see how God can change lives, including yours.